of Jerusalem? Or the one we taught, we try to show you is Jerusalem. This is what the world, this is what is going to get, that can get us killed. That can get me killed, what I'm showing you right now. Because you know what? People hate when you play with their money, right? Modern day Jerusalem brings in billions of dollars a year, right? So now, what happens when they realize, when people start to realize they've been bamboozled? This ain't even a place. This ain't where Christ walked. This was not Jeremiah. This ain't even that. I mean, it's Israel, but it ain't these. So what, where do you think they're going to go? We're going to go to the realm. What's going to happen to their revenue? Because when you go to modern day Jerusalem, it's nothing but, it's, 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 it's like going to Disney. It's Disneyland. It's a religious Disneyland. That's all it is. That's all. It's, re, it's a religion. They sell it. They market food. They try to beat you. <coughs> Cats bobbing their head. It's, it's a circus. That's good. All right, let me go over to Jasher, 2253. I don't have a book. Uh, I do have a book. We're not going to go into it. We're going to try to kill some time. Uh, Abraham was 137 years old when he was traveling from Bathsheba to, it's a map something you can see, from Bathsheba to uh, uh, Jerusalem. So in Jerusalem, sits in a lot of vigil. It took him three days, a day's walk. So we're talking about, where you see a rat at? A rod? Everybody see that, right? When you see a rod at, and you go southwest from there, you see it about, about, uh, where a rod is at, the same, the word rod, if you go to your left, left, that's where Beth Shepherd sits. And, it tell, and the scripture said it took three days for, for, for Abraham to travel. Now you think about a 137 year old man with an entourage, with women, children, on donkeys and camels. And not only that, they're going through mountains. Acts 1 and 12, get that? According to the scripture, what's the day's walk? Let me show you what the day's walk is. Those who here will understand it because they, we pretty much did it. We went to those who went to Zion when he did the vision we did. And that's what we're doing. Those who are coming to Jerusalem, we are actually showing you everything you read about. When you open that book, you'll be able to understand it and see it. You'll be able to feel it. Because now you don't walk it. You don't been here. You'll be able to get you a see it's different when you're looking at something from the outside. But if I sent you a letter with my, a map of my house, right, you can see it, but then when you come into my house, right, it's a lot different, right? And, if, and, and within a week or two, lights out, you can walk around my house without my lights on, right? Without uh, knocking over vases or anything. That's what this does. This is what we show you. This is what you understand. It's your home. It's your property. It was willed to you. Thousands of years ago. Acts 1 and 12. Read it. Acts 1 and 12. Come on. Then return they unto Jerusalem Come on. from the Mount of Carl Olive. Read. Which is, which is from Jerusalem, the Sabbath day's journey. So a Sabbath day journey. So a Sabbath day journey is like five, six, five, seven hours walk. Depending. Okay. So now imagine, according uh, 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 to distance from Beth Sheba to modern day Jerusalem, is 68 kilometers. 68 kilometers, right? And if, in a car, that means you're taking a little bit over an hour and a half, hour 30, hour 40 minutes to drive. In the car. From Bethsheba to Arad, it's like, I say, 40. It's really 36, but I'm going to give you 40 kilometers, right? 40 kilometers. And if you do that, I guarantee you it'll be three days. As a matter of fact, when you look at it, when you when you stand in um, David's palace in Ariel, you'll be able to see, and I said this before, you'll be able to see uh, 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 Bathsheba, and you can see Arad. You can look at both of them. It's like you're right there. You can see both high rises in the distance. So, in a car to drive from Bathsheba, Right? I mean, yeah, from Beth Shabbat to a ride, it's about a 20 minute ride. About 20 minutes, those have been there. 20 minutes. If that. So, it's impossible, totally impossible, to walk three days from Beth Shabbat all the way up to what they got 
Jerusalem. And I'm going to prove that this map is a lie right here. So we're going to look at the scripture, Isaiah 64 and 10. Let's prove it. Let the, I want to give you the tools that debunked their whole, their whole lie. I'm going to tell you who did and why they did it. Pay attention to this. Because this is the meat of it right here. Isaiah 64 and 10. Read. Thy holy cities are a wilderness. Come on. Zion is a wilderness. Read. Jerusalem is a desolation. Read. Joshua 3 and 13. Joshua 3 and 13. Pay attention. We're going to get into this meat now. Joshua 3 and 13. Geography. And it should come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Most High, the Most High of, the, of all the earth, mm -hmm. shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the waters from Jordan shall be cut off. So stop right there. Now, I'm going to prove to you that they did not cross the Jordan River. We've been seeing such a like Jordan River. I'm going to prove that they crossed the Salt Sea. And the word Jordan or Yardin only means waters that descend. They did not cross the Salt Sea, I mean the, uh, the, the Jordan River. As a matter of fact, there ain't even a river there. You see it over here, right? See that? It ain't there. I'm going to prove it. According to the word. When you go there, you're going to see it. It's, it's flat plains. When you come on top of the Salt Sea, is a sign that says Jerusalem's going up, right? But they put one on the map. I'm going to show you this is designed to keep you off. And I'm going to prove that it's called the Salt Sea according to the word. And we have a sister here that's a Hebrew reader. Okay, go ahead. You cut off from the waters that come down from above, Read. and they shall stand upon a heap. And it came to pass, when the people removed from their tents to pass over Jordan, Read. and the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people, and as, the, and as they that bear the Ark were to come to, to Jordan, and the feet of the priests that bear the Ark were dipped in the brim of the water. Read. For the Jordan overflowed all its banks at that banks all the time of the harvest. Read. That the waters which come down from above. The water come down from above. Now we're going to prove. I'm going to have my sister here, Dina. Um, I didn't know where this, the time was running by so fast. Um, the word Jordan. What did that mean? Jordan. Can you explain that real quick in detail? Shalom, shalom. Yarden uh, comes from the root word yarad. Yarad means to descend, means to go down. Okay, so it says yardan, which is the attribute of descending. So you're talking about ascension of uh, of uh, from uh, longitude to latitude going. Is it possible, so what, if you use that word, maybe bring this up on top of the refrigerator, is that where you use the word yard on? Say that Make word a rage, which means to take down, <coughs> okay? Uh, your rage means going down. Uh, yarad, who uh, yarad me habay, he came down from the house. You know, it depends on which verb and how the, uh, it's interpreted to use, but you're still using that root word, yarad. Alright. No. So when you we're gonna find out what it costs. Keep going, read. Mm -hmm. That the waters which came down from above stood and rose up okay. upon a heap very far from the city of Adam. Read. That is beside Zartan. And those that came down towards the sea of the plain. Came towards the sea. 
Not river, sea, read. Even the salt sea. Even what? The salt sea. Even the salt sea. Watch this, read. Fell and were cut off. And what happened at the salt sea? And the people passed over right against Jericho. Oh, so the people passed over the salt sea. Over to Jericho. We got our time is short, so I'm going to rush this. Give me Judges 1 and 16. Joshua and them, they didn't cross the Jordan River. They crossed the Salt Sea. And it crossed right over the Jordan. And, and, and I mean, uh, 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 to what it's called, um, they call it Masada. But Masada is really Jericho. But it's no, there's, you won't find Masada in the Bible. It's Jericho. Keep going, read. Judges 1 and 16. Let's read it up. And the children of the of Kenite, Moses' father-in-law, went up out of the city of palm trees. City of what? City of palm trees. Pay attention to this, read. With the children of Judah into the wilderness of Judah. Read. Which lies in the south of Arad. South of Arad. Here's Arad on that map. Judah starts in this, in the, the lot of Judah starts south of Arad. So when they got Benjamin, which Judah, Jerusalem is in the lot of Benjamin. They got it way up there. Clear, right? Let's keep going. Um, south of Iran, let's go to Deuteronomy 34. We're going to read 1, 2, 3. Deuteronomy chapter 34. Deuteronomy chapter 34, 1 and 3. Deuteronomy 34, 1 to 3. Read. And Moses went up from the plains of Come Moab Read. to the mountains of Nebo, Read. to the top of Pisgah, that is over against Jericho. Over against Jericho now. And so according to the scripture we just read, Jericho, right, they passed over, was in the city of Palm, was in the south of Arad, where Judah starts, right? All that south of, 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 of the city of Palm. Read. And the Most High showed him all the land of Gilead, Read. to the uh, to Dan, Read. and all Naphtali, and the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, and all the land of Judah. So when you in when you in the south, you can see this big high mountain in Jerusalem, in the Negev, meaning the desert on the south. It's a high mountain when you're on Israel's side. When you look on the other side of, of the Salt Sea, it's even higher. There's no mountains towards the end of the Salt Sea. On the top of the car, there was no mountains at all. It's just open land. It's mountains way in the distance, but not right off the salt sea. Go ahead, read. And, and the south, and the plain of Jer uh, valley of Jericho, and the city of palm trees. Wait a minute, what? The city of palm trees. In the south, in the city of palm trees, read. Unto Zor. So hold on. What we just read, right, that Judah lies south. Under a rock in the city of palm trees. Now we're reading that Jericho is south in the city of palm trees. Is that clear? Does that contradict what we're seeing there? Absolutely. A rock is in the south. That means Benjamin is supposed to be in the south. Let's keep going. Um, give me 1 Maccabees 9 and 50. Everybody seeing this? Judah is in the south, begins south of Arad. Jericho is in the city of the palm trees, with Jeloladas, which is in the, the city of palm. All of these are in the city of palm. It's in the south. When you go up to modern day Jerusalem, there is no palm trees. Hmm. No palm trees there. Go ahead, ready, read. Maccabees 9 and 50. Read. Afterward, returned back to Jerusalem and repaired the strong cities in Judea. And what? Repaired strong cities in Judea. So Judea is supposed to be in the wilderness. Read. The fort of Jericho and Emad. So hold on. It's in the south as well. It says the fort of what? Jericho. Jericho. It's in the south. We just read it. Not supposed to be way up there in the north. Come on, read. And Emus and Bethuron 
That's cool. Let's keep going. We're killing time. Matthew 3, 1 and 5. Actually, Matthew 3, 3, verse 1. Matthew 3. Matthew chapter 3, verse 1. Ah, there's so much other meaning. I guess I've been talking too much. <laughs> Matthew 3. Yep. And 1. Yep. Matthew 3 and 1. 3. In those days came John the Baptist. Come on. Preaching in the wilderness. So preaching in the wilderness of what? Judea. In Judea. So Judea is in the wilderness. Wilderness means desert. Again, there's no desert up there. And we just found that Judea is in south of Arad. It's contradicting their map. The Bible it says Jerusalem up north, right? Yeah. Exactly. Arad in the south. Arad in the south. Jesus. Exactly. Watch this. Give me um, Isaiah 10 and 16. Isaiah 10 and 16. Isaiah 10 and 16. Read. Therefore shall the Most High, the Most High of hosts, sing among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. Read. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame. And it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. Read. And shall consume the glory of the forest out and of his fruitful field, both soul and body. Read. And they shall be as when this standard bearer fainted. Come on. And the rest of the trees of the forest shall be few that a child may write them. So, in Jerusalem, there's only be a few trees that you're able to count. In modern day Jerusalem, you can see that. You can't even see that. Plenty of trees. But when you go to the Jerusalem, we assure you, you ain't able to count the trees, ain't up a desert. Modern day Jerusalem, you can't do that. Let's move it on. Joshua 15. We're going to read 1 through 4, then skip to verse 8, and we're going to 30 now. Watch this. Now, Jerusalem belonged to the Jebusites. The Jerusalem that Christ walked in, he did everything, you know. It was the Jebusites, wasn't the Amorite Jerusalem? They're two Jerusalem. How long do we got, sis? Five minutes? You good? You sure? I need some more time. Right. I'm crazy. We're going to still speed it up, though. Okay. Joshua 15. Joshua 15. Oh, wonderful. Pay attention. Watch this. This then was the lot of the tribe of the children of Judah. Okay, now he's going to give us some geography. We already been dealing with geography, right? Go ahead, read. By their families, even to the border of Edom, the wilderness of Zin, southward, was the utmost part of the south coast. So Zin is the river that came back. I'm going to show you that. Go south river, right? When you get to Zin, Zin is in the negative. That means it's, red, it's, it's further down than what you see right now. Under a lot further. Keep going, read. And their south border was from the shore of the salt sea. Oh, their border was from where? The south shore. The south, south sea. The south shore of the salt sea. This is the salt shore right here. The border is going to tell you again right here, Judah. We just read that it started under a rod, right? Mm -hmm. So that means this scripture shouldn't contradict the last scripture. I'm going to tell you stuff right here. Because this can't be, my ride is, is Jerusalem, it can't belong to Judah. That belongs to Benjamin. Making sense? Yeah. Everybody follow me? Anybody confused? A ride or Jerusalem belong to the tribe of Benjamin. We're going to get into that, show you that. Jerusalem, I mean, uh, uh, Judah, set under Benjamin, surrounded him. Go ahead, read. From the bay that looked southward. From the what? From the bay that looked southward. From the bay that looked southward. Clear. Read. And it went out to the south side of Malet. Ephraim. Read. And passes along to Zen. Read. We just read Zen. So it passes, passes in, 
Read. And it's a map, so you can see where Zion is at. You can't change that. Read. And ascended up on the south side of Kadesh. Read. 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 And passed along the Hezron and went up to Adar uh -huh. and fetched a compass to Karaka. Read. From thence it passed towards Asmon and went out until the river of Egypt. And the Wait a minute. So now he's telling you where it's going south. Now, if we were to look at this, the map is from Egypt. Egypt's somewhere down here. This is somewhere way down there. It says it went out to Egypt to what? Read. And going out to the coast at the sea, that shall be your south coast. Now, it says, let's see what sea you're talking about. What sea is Egypt? What sea? Uh, the Keep going. It gets even deeper. And the east border was the salt sea. And the what? The east border was the salt sea. The east border, as we just said for the third time witness, was the the border. The beginning of Judah. And it said Benjamin, it said Judah. Read. Well, this right. shall be the south coast. And the east border was the salt sea, even to the end of Jordan. Skip for a little verse 8 now. Okay. Watch this. Verse 8. And the border went up. The border went up. Now they told you the south. So the waters of Egypt. You missed the rivers of Egypt, man. Oh, you said okay. So from the water to the what is the what is the, the river of Egypt? Now, now, so from the Nile River, now they tell you going up to where? To the valley of the sun of Hinnom. Come on, now the valley of the sun of Hinnom, you can see that when you leave it, when you come into a rod, and you're coming down to the sun. That's hidden is the only place. And that's where the water is going to come from the house. It's going to go right into the waters of Hinnom. And when you see what speaks about, you show them all of this. Everything. You can't see that in modern day Jerusalem. That's why when scholars go there and open the book, they're like, man, David never existed. That's why Egyptologists are like, man, that's a joke. It's not real. And they just took a place. That's why this information in your ears. Watch this. Read that from again. Read it from the top again. And the water went up by the valley of the son of Hinnom. Come on. Unto the south side of the Jebusite. On the south side of what? The Jebusite. The Jebusite is dealing with a rod. Read. And the same is Jerusalem. The same is what? Jerusalem. Oh! Wow. That is deep. So what do you got to do with that? What is this? Stage to keep you away. I want to show you that they did. They did this to present, prevent you from coming back and you connecting with the Messiah. Hey, that's the. That's a, That's this is the information. This is why trillion dollars was kept from you to keep you from understanding this. What we sit here with about fifty people. They don't want. They ain't want. One person to know this. At least one of us. Skip down to verse, uh, what is that? 39. Watch this. Read. Verse 39. The quiche and boss. So the quiche, when you find the quiche, the quiche is about right here. Not too far from the rod. Go ahead, read. And both Bosca. Come on. And Eglon. Read. And and Kaban, and Lamam, and Kitha, Kithlish. That's cool, that's cool. The reason I want to go to 39 is to show you the names, but this map doesn't have You can see all the cities, they're still there. You can't change those. All right, so now we're gonna go to the really, some really good meat, watch this. Let me show and prove this to Jerusalem. You gotta prove it, because now we see that Arad and Jerusalem is in the south. So what is this place then? What is that place they call it the Lot of Benjamin? Let's go to Joshua 10 and 5. Watch this. This, I'm going to, listen, you want this, I'm going to give it to you, teach it. But teach pilgrims with it. Can't do one without the other. 
What's good is the information? What good is a gun if you ain't got bullets? You know, just throw it at him in a gunfight? <laughs> yeah, let's go. Joshua 10 and 5. Next question. Joshua 10 and 5. You right? Therefore, the five kings of the Amorites. Paul, the five kings of the Amorites. Listen closely. The king of Jerusalem. The king of what? Of Jerusalem. The king of what? Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Read. The king of Hebron. Come on. The king of Jarmuth. Read. The king of Lachish. Read. And the king of Eglon. Read. They gathered themselves together and went up. They and all their hosts and encamped and camped before Gibbon. So start right there. So when you find out what happened, when you read the rest, we are, usually I'll read the rest a little bit more, but when you find out what happened, Joshua and them, they came and they took this Jerusalem and then they ushered the five kings in a cave before cutting their toes off. Right? And they took the land. But they took what is the lot of Ephraim. That's Ephraimah. That's Bethel. I'm from him. This is what you call Ephraim. This Ephraim lot. It's not Judah, it's not Benjamin, it's Ephraim. So they took that. Right? Let's go to Judges. Now, nah, I mean, matter of fact, let me just get a little bit more. Wait, what did you say? That's right. Um, start right here. No, start, start at 12. Let me 12 and 13, just to show you a little bit of what happened. Judges 1 and 2. Judges chapter 1 and 2. Then we're going to, verses 1 and 2. Judges 1, read 1 and 2, and then we're going to skip. So we're going to speed it up. Go ahead, read. Judges 1, 1 and 2. Read. Now after the death of Joshua. After the death of who? Joshua. So now Joshua was dead and gone. That means this has been a lot of time, and then a lot of years are waiting about, right? Read. And it came to pass that the children of Israel asked the Most High, saying, Who shall go up for us against the Canaanites first to fight against them? Read. And the Most High said, Judah shall go up. Read. Behold, I have delivered the land into his hand. Read. And Judah said unto Simeon his brother, Come up with me unto my lot, that we may fight against the Canaanites. So hold on, these are brothers. When they say uh, 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 Judah, say, they mean the whole tribe. So tribe, he's Simeon and, his, and, and, and the Simeonites, and I'm Judah and the Judites. Let's go together. So, the, so tribes stop pairing up to go take lots from each other, from the Canaanites. Okay, go ahead, read. And I, likewise, will go with thee unto thy lot. Read. So Simeon went up with, with him. Read. And Judah went up, and the Most High delivered the Canaanites and the Pezzarites into the hand, and they slew, slew of them in Bezek. 10,000 men. All right, so stop. Now watch this. At the same time, what we read back in, uh, 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 earlier, at the same time, years later, 
I mean, the tribe of Benjamin didn't take their life. They didn't take their life. Watch this. Go to, uh, excuse me, 21. 23. 21. Watch read this. And the children of Benjamin. And well, what happened to the children of Benjamin? Watch this. Read. Did not drive out the Jebusites. They didn't drive out the Jebusites. Remember, Jerusalem belonged to the Jebusites. I mean, Jerusalem belonged to the Jebusites, and also it's the lot of the Benjamites. Not Judah. That's why they got this right here. That's Benjamin. Why they Jerusalem? Because it's the Benjamites. Lot. Make a sense? You got it? Everybody got this? You guys got it? Right. Read. But the Jebusites dwell with the children of Benjamin in Jerusalem. So they dwell with them. They dwell with the Jebusites. They couldn't take it. Read. And the house of Joseph, they also went up against Bethel. And the against where? Bethel. All right. That's all I wanted to show you. This is Bethel. Right here. So watch this. Let's go to 2 Samuel chapter 5, 1 and 6. 2 Samuel chapter 5. I'm trying to, this is, I don't know how much time we got, so I'm trying to get as much as we can in. Man, I didn't know time was going to go back. Man. 2 Samuel 5. 2 Samuel 5. Watch this. Six. Now, remember, I'm going to show you 300 years have passed. 300 years from the time Joshua first came in and took it. And now here comes David. Here comes our brother King David, my big brother. And he's going to take it for us. Go ahead, read. Then came all the tribes of Israel to David and to Hebron, read, and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. So hold on, three years, three hundred years later, three hundred years later, wait a minute, is this not the kingdom? Kingdom has to be built, and it's going to happen again. The prophecy said that Judah will take it. So what is this place for the Mashiach? We will take it, meaning that the mass is going to use the true saviors to come and take it with the help of our big brother, the Hamashiach Yeshua. He's our brother. He's not our God. He never said worship me. He could have, but he didn't. Don't call me good. Isn't that what he said? Call who good? But he's a God, and I said this before, he's a God, the, the, he's a God to the Gentiles. We're God to the Gentiles. Moses made a statement. Moses made a statement to Moses. He said, I'm going to make you a God to Pharaoh. Priest of the earth. Go ahead, read. Also in time past, when Saul was king over us, come on, thou was he that led us out of the out and brought us in Israel. Read. And the Most High said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel. They should do what? Feed my people Israel. So at this time, David already was ruling over this. He was ruling over all of that. Everything up there. He was ruling over. But he didn't, he didn't take this. It didn't happen yet. They went to him. David was such a young day. If anybody would take this, it's going to be David. So they went to him. You're dead. You are brother, man. Come on, read. And the Most High said to thee, Come on. Thou shalt feed my people Israel. And thou shalt be a captain over Israel. Come on. So all the elders of Israel came to the king of Hebron, and King David made a league with them See in that? Hebron. They made a pact with him in Hebron. What's, what does pact say? Read. In Hebron before the Most High. Come on. And they anointed David king over Israel. Read. David was 30 years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 40 years. Read. In Hebron, he reigned over. Judah seven years and six months. Read. And in Jerusalem, he reigned 30 years and 30 and three years over all Israel and Judah. Read. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites. Unto who? Unto the Jebusites. They went to Jerusalem of the Jebusites. So the Benjamites are supposed to have this, right? Exactly. Read. And the, the inhabitants of the land were spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, Thou shalt not come in hither. So hold on, Judah. They said, David, you ain't getting up in here. You know how long you've been trying? You ain't coming up in here. Come on, read. David could not come hither. Never, nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. Go the ahead. same is the city of David. So this is Zion in the south. 
That's clear, right? It ain't this up here. The same Mississippi of David. This right here. And I'll show something on this next clip. Let me see if it is. All right, so now watch this. Arad, this is from the Hebrew. Arad, a wild ass. A Benjamite. A, a son of Bera. That's who Arad is named after. Because when you move, every how we move was our we named our cities after our forefathers. Uh, Benjamin, son of Beer, who drove out the inhabitants of God, a royal city of the Canaanites, north of the wilderness of Judah. Uh oh. Wow. <laughs> you see that? Very deep. Ain't contradicting nothing. See that, Pastor? That's it. All right, this range is showing, right here, this is two brothers, 